the hissing slithers. Human beings and snakes have not had a very good history from way back. Some African community relate these creatures to witchcraft. The Bible too has used the example of snakes to imply evil and cunning nature. Welcome to my channel. I am Vivian. Please like, comment and subscribe as I enlighten you about these most feared reptiles. We will explore different kinds of snakes in Kenya, venomous and unvenomous. At the State Mark Snake Park in Karen, Nairobi. The African Python is one of the largest snakes in the world. He can grow up to six meters. They are generally brown with lighter brown and olive green markings. Their belly is creamy white in color. The upper and the lower jaw are not attached. This enables them to open their mouths incredibly wide. They're so chilling out right now. It's one of the biggest snakes that we have in this neck pit. I don't know if you're able to see that. You see? These snakes don't have a breastbone. They can swallow bigger food than themselves. The python are constrictors, meaning they hold the prey by teeth, constrict them until they die, then they swallow them. Some people keep them as a pet, especially in the western world. This is because they are nine poisoners. What I'm holding here is a two-year-old python. His name is Bobby. The experience of holding a snack has been so amazing, overwhelming, and I can tell there are also scary moments. Please do not try this at home. In a snake that is two years old, so there's nothing to fear about that. He's a constrictor, and when he moves in your body, you can feel the weight, the way the muscles are just moving. It's great. The Jackson Street Snake. He can grow as much as 2.3 meters. He is an excellent climber ascending into trees 30 meters or more for prey search. He also inflates his neck and interior body then moves side to side when cornered. It's non-poisonous so at least you get to learn about the snakes that are poisonous and the ones that are not poisonous. So he is one of the non-poisonous snakes. He's black in color. The brown house neck. These snakes are light brown to reddish in color and they are found mostly in residential places, hence the name house neck. These snakes can be kept as pets because of their non venomous nature. In Kenya, you'll be called Amuchawi if you're found with one of these. LOL! They have different species, but this one is the largest. The brown house snake comes out at night only to hunt small vertebrates, especially rats and rodents. They constrict their prey, suffocating them with sharp fangs and suffocate them, then swallow them. They are also solitary and come together during mating, hibernating or hunting. The Egyptian Cobra. In ancient Egypt, this snake was used to portray symbol of power, 
on the contrary, they are largely spread in East Africa. Like any other cobra, he is highly venomous and flattens his rib bones on neck when threatened. Part of the poisonous necks, they are divided into two parts. We have the non-venomous and the venomous and the constrictors. So right now, at this part, we are at the venomous uh, vipers. And just let us go through to see exactly what we have. The green mamba. They are highly venomous and can kill a human being within 30 minutes. Their venom contains neurotoxins and your cardiotoxin. They are called green mamba because of their light green and yellow underparts. These snakes love dense or heavily vegetation. This type of habitat helps them to camouflage. They feed on vertebrates and can move up to 19 kilometers per hour. The black mamba. They are the longest venomous snakes and the fastest of them all. Their name black mamba is derived from the black nature of the base of their mouth but not their outside appearance. The most common color of the black mamba is grayish in color and whitish base. They are the most feared African snake and very aggressive. They tend to buy severally releasing more venom that contains neurotoxins and gadiotoxins. This can kill anyone within 15 minutes. The black mamba kills its prey by infecting venom and following it until it dies then it swallows them. Twelve seconds later. I said, do not try this at home. The East African Gatter Snake. They are small poisonous semi barrow snakes with short heads, slender body, and small round eyes. They are similar to coral snakes and hide in termites' mouths and holes. They feed mainly on lizards. The Puff Adder He is a large, extremely venomous snake. His venom is cytotoxic. He is named Puff Adder because he gives warning by inflating its body and hissing loudly. They have a reputation of being the lazy snakes because they stay coiled waiting every time. They have a V-shaped head that accommodates their long fangs as their main weapon. The loud hiss is meant to mimic a dangerous animal. The Eastern Gutter Snakes. These are common terrestrial snakes known for three white or yellow stripes that run down the length of their back. They feed during the day on earthworms, millipede, spiders, and insects. They are non venomous, and the predators include hawks and large snakes. The Western Kenya Cobra. They are commonly known as Black Cobra. He is highly venomous and when cornered, he will assume the typical cobra warning posture 
and a hell of a hiss. It feeds on large insects to small mammals, sometimes smaller reptiles. He mainly lives in forests. Guys, there's also this kind of snake called the red spitting cobra. Like, uh, there are so many kind of cobras here. And uh, the red spitting cobra is one of the notorious ones. Like other cobras, when cornered, it will assume the typical cobra warning posture. He is very venomous. Their diet is mainly amphibians and small mammals. These cobras spit venom as a defensive mechanism against their predators. It can travel 4 to 8 feet depending on the size of the snake. They have a good aim when spitting and go for the eye. This can cause blinding, making a target easy. Poisonous snakes here is the Badger's by grass snake and uh, it is so camouflaged in the leaves you can barely tell there's a snake here. It's also non-poisonous. The rhombic night adder. They are a little stranger and very poisonous. Here are the cobras. Everyone fears cobra. This is an African cobra. You see, right now he does not make his head full the way we see it in movies sometimes. They're just chilling out right now. The Boomsla. They are large venomous snake and the name means tree snake in Dutch. They eat small animals like frogs and eggs. He has an excellent camouflaging skills. In defense, the boomslang inflates the neck, showing the dark skin between the scales. Its venom causes hemorrhage, and the male is slightly green, and the female color varies. Rufus Beaker Snake. His head is big shaped, hence the name Beaker Snake. He is highly venomous and mainly feeds on small mammals like rats, also chameleon. the Mount Kenya bush viper. He is also one of the venomous snakes in this park and he has distinct colors. The large brown spitting cobra. Like other cobras, he is extremely venomous. He defends himself against predators by spitting. He is also the world's largest spitting cobra. The monitor lizard secrete a poison-like substance from their saliva. They are most intelligent lizards and are similar to snake, 
by the hissing sound they produce and get their tongues out. They can count up to six and know their roots home. They also work together when hunting. Interesting. Guys, this pack offers a good chance for you to learn about the Kenyan snakes and shed off your fears. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for part 2. Mops love.